One of the most memorable races ever in the pool, let alone at the World Championships or at the Olympic Games. Michael Phelps, the fastest qualifier, his personal best, 154.16, as just mentioned, but that only bettered by Ryan Lochte, 154 flat, the new world record holder. This is at a Grand Prix. It's early in 2012. But what's the atmosphere going into this event, Rowdy, for both Phelps and Lochte? And once again, of course, side by side. They're competitors, Paul. I mean, I, I think both you and I understand the fact that whenever you race, whenever you get up on the blocks, you want to try to do your best. And when they're such fierce competitors, I don't really care where it's at, they're going to both try to win. So the focus in the middle of the pool. Introduce the lanes quickly. Martin Livamaggi from Estonio in one. Connor Dwyer in lane two. Ryan Lochte in three. The new look, Michael Phelps in lane four. Andrew Ford in lane five. Had a full beard yesterday, and now the Fu Manchu. Tyler Harris will be in lane six. Jack Brown out of the University of Missouri. Former Missouri Tiger, now 24, will be in lane seven. And Robert Margalis will be in lane eight. Well, it look to the, look to the left of us and see all those cameras going off. Everybody is really on the edge of the, their seat for this race. Underway, Michael Phelps in lane four, Ryan Lochte in lane three, and who's got the early advantage stroke-wise? It has to be Phelps on the butterfly. Yeah, no question, Michael Phelps, the best butterflyer of this bunch, better than Lochte, probably even on the backstroke. I, well, I mean, you're talking about 16 one hundredths of a second of the difference. <laughs> They're pretty even all the way, really. Andrew Ford in lane five doing a pretty good job. Just to the left there, Phelps turns first as expected. And now to the backstroke. Well, if Lochte's going to have a chance, he's got to move up on the backstroke here. He, he, it's going to be tough for him to come from behind at this stage of his training. He's got to really put in a great backstroke leg. Beautiful shot right there, side to side. Phelps right there with a the white cap right above him is Lochte with that dark cap in lane number three. Lochte hasn't really moved up on him at all. In fact, Phelps is probably going to outsplit him here on this backstroke leg, and he does. 29-4 to 29-6 to Lochte. So Phelps with a pretty comfortable lead right now. Lochte took a quick look over at him. Andrew Ford, who was there after the butterfly leg, has dropped off a little bit. Now it's Michael Phelps in the middle of the pool. Boy, the good thing for Lochte is at least he's right next to Phelps. At least he has an eye on him. But look at Phelps. The way he put that B final breaststroke in, he had a great 102 plus breaststroke. He's going to win this race. And, and once again, it, it's so hard to make any kind of determination on what's going to happen six months from now from this race. But Michael Phelps looking really good right now. Very strong. You see the kick behind him, Paul? Beautiful kick behind him. Lochte just doesn't look, he doesn't have the height in the water, doesn't have the snap in his kick. That will change. Certainly that will change. Yeah, but this is a masterful swim by the greatest swimmer in the history of the sport. That is just a very strong, of course, technically sound from start to finish. Michael Phelps led immediately after the butterfly leg, extended that through the backstroke, didn't give up anything in the breaststroke, and then brought it home. And as you mentioned, with 75 meters to go, the race was certainly over. Michael Phelps, there's no way that Ryan Lochte had enough water left in front of him to make up that differential. Uh, and here's the 100 mark, the halfway point. You can see how big of a lead Michael built on this first 100. I think Michael swims better when he's tired than Ryan does. Uh, some athletes can overcome that and swim better through it. Some can't. And Michael has the ability to swim fast, or at least fast enough, when he's tired. Believe me, Michael's been training hard, too. He, I'm not taking anything away from his training, but you can see the kick. The difference is Michael just has a little bit better height in the water. He's able to go to his stroke better when he's tired. He settles in a little bit better than Ryan. That's still a solid swim for both of them, but Michael Phelps, 155, 158.5, and Paul, it's never too late to make a little, plant a little seed, right? You just want to plant a little bit of a seed and say, here I am, here I am. I know we're early. But here I am. Talk about a very solid performance from start to finish. And again, the third race in about a 45, 47 minute window for Michael Phelps. And you mentioned his posture in the water, where he was sitting up high. There's no question that his fitness is right on track. And that breaststroke leg 
you know, that didn't cost him at all and uh, was able to hold that lead after the early butterfly. And in fact, he was 34-5 and Lochte was 35-3 on the breaststroke split. So all 50 splits, Michael Phelps was faster than Ryan Lochte. And Michael joins us now. Thanks so very much once again. Love the mustache, by the way. <laughs> it's all for the Ravens. It's all for Flacco and, uh, and, and the playoff beard. So. And they, they needed all the help they could possibly get. 158.5. How do you take the time? Uh, I'm happy. Uh, you know, I said it, if, if I was able to get under two minutes after, you know, the, the, the 200s I had before with, with the time limit that I had, uh, I'd be really happy. So um, I'm perfectly happy with that time. I know you're great rivals, you're good friends, but it, it has to mean a lot. Even though it's January and it's early, it's always nice to, to beat Ryan and at least get into a nice racing format, doesn't it? Um, you know, I think the, the, the biggest thing that I'm really, like I said, most proud about is just being able to come in here and, and try to race as hard as I can, but also really see where I am. Um, you know, being able to do three races in 50 minutes and, and doing pretty good times in all three of them, um, you know, I think is something that we're, Bob and I are very, very happy with, and it's something that, that we can tell that training is heading in the right direction. And, and on a scale of one to 10, you are what, what kind of happy? Um, you know, before I came up, my lactate was at like 13, so uh, it'll, it'll be interesting to see what it's at right now. But, uh, you know, I've, I think right now I'm, I'm probably at a 7 to where I really need to be and want to be. And, and uh, I mean, I guess if you would have asked me a year ago, I was probably at like a 2. So right. uh, we're, we're making a lot of improvements. Well, well, that's good news for the USA. It's 2012, and, and you're keeping right up with the Baltimore Ravens. Got to. <laughs> Big game next week. Watch out, Foxborough. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Michael, thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Another superb weekend, and what a race. I, I agree with you. Just uh, right on track. And now that it's 2012, he is more than focused and ready. And if you get a chance to see